Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of The Flank. I'm joined by Ben Janassim. I'm joined by Christopher Duarte, a.k.a. Paris. And, of course, we got the one and only Patrick Price, a.k.a. Aches, a.k.a. The Slayer, joining us here at Major 4. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. Guys, what's going on, man? Uh, today was a long day. It was Grueler. a day. Grueler. Today Grueler. was a matches. Lots, couple game fives in uh, the last series of the day. It was it was looking like a snoozer, but it ended up being pretty exciting towards the end. Yeah, no, it was a lot of great matches, Woke a lot up. of map fives, man. A lot of map fives for sure. Pat, what's going on, man? You flew in today. A lot of crazy matches today. Long day. How was the flight? It's been a long day. It's been long a long day. day. Woke up early, got here, had a connecting flight, took a little longer than I wanted. Got Where'd you here. you connect through? Charlotte, North Not Carolina. Yeah. You had Chick fil A while you were there? I did not. <laughs> yeah, you always have the Chick fil A at Charlotte but, Airport. Uh, yeah, long day. Got here. Got got here in time for the Blow It Up Bowl, which we watched. <laughs> And then, uh, hence yeah. the blow it up uh, hoodie yeah, on. I had, to, I had to wear the blow it up. Hoodie. Looks good, Slay. It looks good. But guys, yeah, we had a long day of COD. We definitely want to get get into it. We're limited on time here, so just want to hop in, get a quick little recap, and just in case you guys miss anything, we'll give our thoughts. Man, let's switch on over and see what we got, folks. Let's tune in to the first series of the day. Uh, it's the second tab. <clears throat> okay, executive producer Ben's adding extra tabs. We got the Florida Mutineers going up against the Vegas Legion. This one ended up being a 3-2 final. We'll take a look at the stat sheets, but this one went all the way down to a game five. Back and forth, Vegas. A disappointing finish here uh, at Major 4, Ben. I mean, Ben, I'll let you kick things off. What happened with Vegas this weekend? I, fe I felt like their their mentality, their focus, it just wasn't there this weekend. Uh, the respawn, in the words of uh, Jamie Tart, was poop, eh? I mean, <laughs> I, I just thought... I just thought they made a lot of mental mistakes and hard points. It was even like often gun skill issues, just mental mistakes, losing counts of players, not filling the right lanes, not communicating with each other. Uh, and then it just went to a game five against a Florida team, and they clutched up and searching. Just, you just you can't always win every game five. And I think for Vegas, they had a massive opportunity this weekend to uh, you know make a top six run, really put themselves in the forefront of the champs qualification scenario. And now and we'll get to the Rocker series the end of the show, I, I think they're in real trouble. Well, I think the main key point of this series is just the map five, right? I mean, Vegas is up 5-2. They have to close that out. There's just no if ands, thens, buts, whatever the hell that saying is. You, you have to close it out on a 5-2. I just felt like they played so reserved. They were just so scared to make a play. Uh, they were maybe on When they went up, when they went up 5-2. On their defenses, they definitely were pretty scared to make a play, it seemed like, because I think Florida got two. So there was four rounds that I remember that were just freebies, essentially, for the Florida Muneers. Yeah. There was two rounds where Vegas decided to just try to blind counter and sprint into P4 from P2 from the bomb site. They just get mowed down because the guy's always playing on the top of the rails. And then the other two rounds was they let Florida plant and then had a 4v4 retake. And a 4v4 retake on that site yeah. with how much time you have is pretty difficult. So four rounds out of that you know, entire round pool that uh, Vegas or Muneers was able to win were just free. Listen, um, guys. Not overcomplicate this. Placer got Kentucky fried. He had a really <laughs> rough series. He definitely had a rough series. Clay was definitely off his game in this one. Yeah. Um, I'm not too sure what was going on with him in uh, in this series. I want to I want to say because you said that uh, Vegas just didn't look like themselves, but I want to say nothing changed. I think people caught on to their gimmick that they veto or they vetoed Expo because as we know, their staple wins in the last group stages were expo control wins which were able to elevate them to push them forward in the series mm -hmm. they didn't have that they were still losing game ones in the same fashion they lost game ones at home they won the search and destroy but they didn't have another leg to stand on after that they didn't have a, a control yeah. they were just going down one two every series and having to climb up you know or climb over like a, a wall so i want to say like these guys are better than this but are they really if they don't get to play Expo? Well, I mean, what's next for Vegas? I mean, they're going to go the back. Hardest major five Their ever. schedule is brutal. They're they, they, have a they play pretty schedule? much every good top team down the stretch, and they're all teams that are solid control teams. Like, mm. they they just, they got, I know we have talked time and time again about it. We've talked to Donnie about it, talked to Clay about it on this show, on our watch parties. He said they are much better in control and practice. They are in matches. But being the worst control team in the game, they got to put up, or they're going to be uh, hitting the Bermuda Triangle instead of going to champs. 
Yeah, I thought, honestly, uh, I want to talk about the Florida Mutineers a little bit. I thought Vickle and Capsule had a great day today, just working with each other. I thought they were playing really confident, making plays, and they were just winning a lot of fights that I think you don't really see too often from these guys. I thought they played really well. Obviously, the ARs did their thing as well. Uh, Brack had a, had really good stats, but definitely wanted to give some shout-outs to, to Vickle and, and Capsule because they were making plays, man, and they were slaying out. Yeah. Got to give them some it credit. It was good to see Vickle do well. Vick, a lot of people have been, you know, Vickle critics where they are like, oh, this guy's not that good. They got yeah. to sub. They got to boot him off, and then he ended up getting replaced um, by Cap. And then he, you know they bring him back, and he obviously has an explosive series um, where he plays really well, and they get carried on to uh, the next day. So, congratulations to Mutineers, and uh, they move on till <laughs> tomorrow. Yep, that was uh, actually Benjamin Bance. He knew Slayer was in the building, and actually Ben <laughs> came up to me and he said that with Pat's here, he's a hundred percent winning his series today. He said that, so you're motivating people. We talked out about here. this before. You're a motivator. Year, you're a motivator, I mean, Slayer. They got on the Rocker payroll, dude. There's a lot of teams that are gonna. He's have to a, pay Benjamin. Me up a he's bit. a motivator, Ben. He's a motivator, Ben. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> he said he is. Get me on the payroll. <laughs> No way, bro. Minnesota Rocker will get to their series. They ended up clutching up. That last series was insane, but definitely wanted to show some love to Florida. Um, I just thought they looked good today. They obviously take down Vegas. Yeah. Vegas choked that last map, but got to give credit to Florida where, where, where credit is due. They did a great job, but let's they're, hide. Well, they did a good job, but they're going to have to play Toronto tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, that's going to be a tough matchup for them. Obviously, uh, I'll Toronto. I'll fix my camera real quick if you don't yeah, go mind. Ahead. Obviously, Toronto, um, you know, they won their match today. We'll, we'll get to it. But let's hop on over to the next one. We got the Los Angeles Gorillas playing against the Seattle Surge. This was another one that went all the way down to a map number five. We take a look at those stats. I mean, Sib had an incredible series. AG, I mean, they really showed out. Lamar's even been playing really, really good for these guys. He's really been stepping up. Only one negative was Mac. But on the other side, LAG, again, it just looks like they have trouble slaying. They just have a hard time getting kills. Just looking at the stats, how did this go Map 5? I have no idea. The control was insane. Does it matter? Because it's actually great it went Map 5. Pred broke the kill record and really bumped up my <laughs> fan. <laughs> hey. So shout out LAG yeah. for somehow going the distance, but. Uh, I would say my thoughts on the series, if we scroll down and take a look at the map set. Yeah. Um, I thought LAG played really good in this series. I thought they were a dead team going in this event. I thought they were competitive in pretty much every map in the series. And I know they came up short in the game five, but they look like pretty lifeless for pretty much every match they played prior to this. It seems like they got their act together a little bit. I just think in the end, uh, Seattle was just a little bit more of the icier team. I think LEG had some opportunities in map one. They really did take advantage of. I think the control was pretty mixy on the LEG side. They didn't take advantage of opportunities there. Uh, and it is what it is. Tough game five loss for them. I think LEG is just like us. They're not. They're not a. They're not a very good team, but they're a very gritty team. Like they're able to like. They have the upset potential just because I feel like they understand kind of how to play. They just they can't slay. Like these guys get outslayed by every team, and it's only when somebody on their team has an obscene performance that they're able to kind of like actually push it push it over that edge and win the win the maps yeah but um you know it, this showed this this was kind of promising i think for 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 seattle going forward because they got that gritty series early they were able to clutch up an s and d which um traditionally is not their strongest game mode but uh you know a couple series later and uh it wasn't looking too good for seattle listen we can talk all day about how much better the gorillas look blah 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 blah, blah. <laughs> okay seattle was not that great and I've been saying they're not that great. Here we go. They have the little roller coaster momentum moment. Sure, they look a little flashy. But outside of Sid and Pred, this team just doesn't have four consistent teammates. Um, we have moments where some of them go off and some of them just get shit on. And I think it, that exposes them. Yeah, Gorillas played a little better than they did online. But I don't think using you know them pushing the distance against Seattle is a great example because I mean, we just saw what happened to Seattle. They full collapsed against the Rocker. We'll get to that series, but um, I think it was just another roller coaster event for 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 Surge and uh, definitely think, some inconsistency problems with, with I, Surge. I think, and I, I think, think this solidifies the Gorillas is basically out now. Yeah, I think the allergies chalk. I think the Seattle problem uh, is you know essentially their system and in many aspects is Pred and Dante have free rolls to kind of do whatever they want, take Hugo Chavez, whatever. Then Mac and Lamar are going to make the more structured plays behind it. And when it's not those, a winning formula. When those two players are killing, it works great. When you get into gritty series, to your point, like it, it's going to go down to the wire. And I don't think that they're like an amazing, amazing elite search team. So they're going to play gritty series. And as we saw at the end of the day, like they came up short. So 
I, I would like to them to rethink that. They're not going to change that system. They're not going to make a roster change. This is a Seattle team. It is what it is, and they're just going to ride to the end Bro, of the season. Bro, that system just doesn't work when you have teams like Thieves and Ultra and FaZe. Like, how are you going to use that? They play optic? good against those top teams, though. I yeah, but they play good. They against FaZe at this event, though. I don't, think, I don't think it's their system. I think it's obviously, like, I think that some of their players can be more cons consistent. But I think they're in it. Their, their problem is their auto vetoes, bro. They cannot be auto vetoing because when they do – because. I'm not worried about them playing top teams. Like, I feel like they always play the top I teams as well. I hate all the bro. They, get, this team is so prone to getting upset by lower-seeded teams because they have actual auto vetoes where, like, they get rid of them, and if a team matches up well versus them, they give them a lifeline. Sure, they might be good at, let's say, a CeeLo control. They might right. be good at it, but they're letting Rocker get it in them in their, in their, map, in their map pool and they're letting LAG get it in their map pool, not to say that they can't win it. I'm saying they're giving teams lifelines in these series. They're not just outplaying them in the vetoes. They're just out-talenting these teams, and it's not going to consistently how, work. How is – I just don't understand how Seattle, like, with how good AG is, how good Dante is, how are they bad at Mercado Hardpoint? I guess because you would just, think the map, just just straight the, up map, the way the map maybe is laid the out. Issue. It's so structured that, that they have like to, like – not troll, and I feel like this team kind of trolls sometimes. Oh. It's too straight up. I feel like um, they do go like a little. Said, they do go a little rogue in the chows sometimes. But that's what I'm saying, though. That's what's getting them in trouble. Um, is that like you look at the series they just lost versus Rocker? They're giving Rocker maps that they're comfortable with. Ideally, they should still beat them on those maps because they're also good at those maps. But you're still giving them comfort. Yeah. In in knowing that oh. We, Yo, we're good at this uh, map. I, I, we have a chance. Auto auto views, like like you said, Pat, they they always screw you over. Especially Bro, like you, you, the top teams. You like go into a series at a disadvantage. Yeah, they, 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 yeah, they know. They know what you're gonna do, and they can just play around it. Yeah. They they're gonna get their picks every time. Every yeah. time, you know. So it's a mess. Seattle surge though. They do take down the LAG. What's next for LAG? They're out of the tournament. Just keep it pushing until the, until the season's, season's over. over. Like yeah. they just stay together. The organization's chalk. I mean, I don't even know. I mean, this. I mean, uh, we don't to even that know. Point, though, Alec and Exceed have been nothing on this team, in my opinion. It's been the Joe DeSees and Assault show since this org was announced to be collapsed, basically. So I think, like, at, at least in my opinion, what it looks like, Joe DeSees and, and Assault are the only ones. I think that the are only still person who's actually safe is Joe. No, but I'm saying like playing, been playing, good. playing with no. life. Yeah, like doing well. well yeah. Like Alex and Exceed have been no, getting no, shit no, None of them are safe because I wouldn't be surprised if – I don't know what their, the out situation is for the for the org, but they may clean, clean wipe and then see what they want to do afterwards. It's a big, giant question mark, and I feel for the players at this point. I guess you're just trying to play to win the next major. If they are forced to feel the team, do you think they – invest any extra resources oh, absolutely into trying not. to I get better we, talent? We or should do they just put a not. pin in that conversation until after the season because we just don't know what's going on. Absolutely spot. not. Bare yeah, minimum. I, just, I think it's like too long of a conversation. I personally now. think if they have to keep LAG and LAG has to fulfill out their agreement with the CDL, they are not going to pour in any more resources than they have to, which yeah, means that they won't not. be able to get any extra talented players. They won't be able to, yeah, as you say, blue chip players. It's almost like with Paris. Remember when Paris was Bro, trying to sell? The and they were just people the people are going to take the minimum contracts, but I just I think it's too new. Joe we, won't. Well, if he gets he posted to. with another He'll team, they have to buy him out. But well, I like I said, I think we should put a pin in it. We need to see what they do with the contract situation. We also need to see, like, as we get to the end of the season, if maybe someone I mean, buys it. Realistically, spot. do you think somebody's going to buy? I, I don't know if somebody's going to buy that spot. Bro. Absolutely no. not. I, I've heard rumblings of potentially interested orgs, but it's all on, like, the player and agent side, so I don't know how much and I believe it. And they're going to have to drop the price, bro. So nobody's buying that spot for well, $25 it's the, million. No, it's, it, at this point, well, it's not going to be $25 well, million. Well, I know. It's paid, season, it's paid in installments no, but, but, and stuff, but yeah, yeah, but yeah you are going to buy in the middle of all that, so it's going to be at a discount. So I would assume. So, again, I think we just need to put a pin in it until – we just know more about it, or we get to the offseason, we see what they're... Because right after the offseason, right, right after champs ends, you have pretty much a week to decide if you're picking a player option. So we'll know right away It's what it, well, What's the window? Is it seven... What is it, 14 days, the it's window? It's like either a week or two weeks. I don't know what the I upcoming I think it's 14 days. But it's really quick. All right, well, listen, not sure what's next for the LAG, but they get eliminated today. So Vegas and LAG, they're going home. But let's hop in to the next series of the day. we got the London Royal Ravens going up against the Minnesota Rocker. Let me tell you something. DoorDash challenge. This was a DoorDash challenge. This was quick. Uh, Pat, you were calling this the blow it up bowl. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I just want to say this, man. London, I, I just... Bro, they are just just watching them play. It's just bad. They're the it only is team so in the bad. league that's in worse shape than LAG. 
I just they just and when, I've never scene. I mean we, I even had Dylan attached sitting right next to me and just looking at the mini map we just couldn't believe the things we were seeing it's just like they it's were the just weirdest weirdest series ever Call of Duty game just I've ever so watched. late on rotation they get kills and stand around they just it just seems like when you look at the mini map they don't move they are all so afraid to die dude it's it's so bad. I, and they, all they do is it. they don't even get kills. I mean, look at the their, way they look play. At their, look at their deaths. They're just so low. Like, outside of, like, and Nasty has more deaths than, that could also be a bad thing, than some of his subs, and he's an AR. The, the, the only one who actually plays fast is Asen, but I've noticed it slowly. Yuli's starting to play slow. He's probably fucking losing full to his teammates. Yeah. Listen, he's slow. Listen, he's bro. trying to match your pace. He's just a Any, mess, man. Anyone that actually roasts Yuli in this situation, they, should, they should kick rocks because he's coming into an already chalked up situation. Sure, maybe he could be the greatest player of all time and turn this team around, but the likeliness of that happening is just simply Bro, not. Is and, not and, and, this, and I'm going to say this again. This is the problem when the challenger players accept these opportunities because, in my opinion, we're like, yeah, we know this isn't Yuli's fault. He's doing himself no favors because he's coming in the league, joining the worst team, getting shit on, and then it's ruining potential future opportunities for can, himself. Can we pull up a tweet? Because Scraps I, but, but, tweeted but, but, something. Yeah, I have it up about? already. I already have it up, so I'm going to I'm gonna read it out. But be- before, I want to go to your point about playing fast, right? It's not even about, like, run. When people say playing fast, it's not about just running at people. It's just yeah. the decision-making. Like, they just seem like they're so far behind. They never get to their spots quick enough, and I just feel like they're always fighting from the back foot, you know? Like, they're never putting themselves in favorable positions where the game will just come easier to them. If you play the game the right way, if you're making your decisions quick... I feel like the game's just easier, and they just make yeah. the game hard on themselves, and they struggle to get kills. I don't think we even need to talk about the series. Rocker clean, wiped the floor with them. Obviously, this was just a freebie for Rocker. Um, let's we can talk about Scraps. Well, tweet. yeah, let's. I definitely want to talk about the tweet because Scraps came in with a tweet after the match, and this is what he had to say: "Haven't been a team whatsoever for weeks on end. Been fighting the biggest uphill battle for months versus each other, not listening or respecting each other. No accountability, just pointing fingers and spawning in, trying to do it all." It's on all of us players, not our coach or manager. They've been trying and trying, but we just don't want to be professionals and listen and spawn together. No more escaping that. Which I thought was an interesting tweet. Because is he saying that to his team? I, I would hope that this is stuff uh, that would be said. He replied to somebody in the comments and said so he tried bringing it up to his teammates, but basically nobody listened. Listen, there's two sides to every coin, so obviously this is how he feels. I'm sure other people on the team have their own At views, least he's their, taking accountability. Opin- opinions, yeah, he's taking accountability. At the end of the day, I mean, it's more of the same that we said. They're not a team. Like, this is what happens when Agreed. an organization just picks up four random players, there's a chance that you might get lucky and you find some valuable pieces with some value and and sure it might work. But when you pick up random players and hope they work together, you're just throwing you're throwing money at nothing. Like, we heard just, Kenny said so in the in, in the in the Hummer commercial how you, you need to know your teammates, you need to know the people you play with, you have to respect each other inside, outside the game. Like it, it, that, that relationship, that chemistry just doesn't seem there for the London Royal Wave. They seem completely checked out. Uh, and you can see it in the mini map. You can see in the decision making that the, the the plays that they make around the map. But they've never Pat, won a series on land, bro. Not one. Not and one their series. Their map count is a very little to to a very lot of losses. So yeah, this team is chalked. Uh, every series they play is basically laughable. You know they're gonna lose going into it. Yep. They're fully out of contention for champs, in my opinion. There's no turnaround. Um, no, well, unless Ben what said, they, let's they say they win, win next the, event. And they <laughs> win all the events, and uh, the, Bro, they get they gotta win like they gotta win like ten series listen, in a row. Listen, they're out, and nah, this team yeah, is full collapse. If someone tweets like that, team's done. Like, period, yeah. they're done. You, you don't you don't just recover and just start being a great team well, together. Speaking um, of team, so they're done. That might need to recover. The Toronto Boston series. We yeah, were, we can we hop were, into the next one. We were looking forward to this matchup. We got Toronto Ultra going up against the Boston Breach. And the next one, obviously, London, they go home. Minnesota Rocker take them out 3-0. We'll see them later up against the Seattle Surge. But let's talk about this one. We got Ultra going up against Boston. We take a look at those scra- uh, at those stats. Thought Scrap had a really good series. Um, I thought he was just very impactful on the map. He's just a really good – he just does so much but for these damage guys. Damage dealer, gets mm-hmm. a lot of kills. He's um, just always there. Yep, and same with Jamie. Jamie obviously ha- had a really good series. And then on the other side, I mean, Boston, they, again, man, it's so much talent on this Boston Breach roster. They really are talented. When you watch them play, you could tell how talented this roster is. There's just something missing. I just feel like maybe the play styles are too similar, and it, maybe it's just not going to work out for them. But what do you guys think? Do you think it's a play style thing? I personally think they have too many too many players who play similar. They play sure, the same way. Sure, but I think it's just a discipline thing. Their hard points, 
These guys are late on rotations. They throw away setups. They are so good at breaking, though. That's because, what keeps yeah, they're them down. in. They're a good team. Because they're talented. They're like, it's the, I'm, not, I'm not trying to say either. They're not stat padding. But every single one of their series, if you look at their stats, they're just slaying. Like, they have good KDs. Like, yeah. the slaying numbers almost look like they won. But then you go and look at the results, and sometimes some of the maps aren't even close. Or yeah. they're just choking. Well, this, um, this usually could have been a 3-0 as well. If Krim didn't world star in the last round of that control yeah like, this probably was over anyway so yeah <laughs> uh i don't know it's a weird situation because i think they picked up like a better player at least eye test wise like crimp is gross Krimp is no disgusting. that guy is gross that guy's a future but, regardless this, this if they go has, back on the team. this team has no leadership they they when when they do the like the pan camera onto the team they look lifeless in my opinion even after a map win um I don't really think we hear him get Could loud. Could be a leadership and high. problem. Yeah, I just, I just think, I think honestly, it's a similar boat that London's in. They just have better players. Like that's, that's kind of how I view this team. They're, they're, they don't really play like a team. They just play like a really good eight squad who, who gets kills. Um, so yeah, I think, I think there's still a change that's needed in this Boston group. I, I mean, I think they're gonna make champs, so they're not worried about that. But I, I do think there's. A, the I think the roster has potential. Like they could, they can make runs into a tournament. But do you but ever see them like actually beating any of these top four teams? No, I mean nope. that's I, I personally no, I don't. I just don't. I they're limited. They're they're a, they're here's a five the, through eight. Here's 18. here's the here's the reality of the situation though. With Reese, they took Ultra last map multiple times. They ended up finally beating them in their online split. They mm -hmm. lost to Vegas, and then they basically just chalked it up and kicked them off the roster. But with 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 uh, Vivid on the team, they've had their most success. Um, I know Kremp might be a better player, and maybe hey, you want to keep Kremp because I think Kremp and Nero play pretty uh, pretty pretty similar. Maybe you try Reese again on the roster. I know he's still a sub for their team. Maybe they attempt it, or maybe they just have to go back to the drawing board and like somehow just get this sort of discipline that they need because. That, that's all it is. Just from watching, they just have zero discipline. Guys, I'm, I'm going to be Chris. Well, I'm going to be honest. I, like, I've, I, I sit there and like I've watched him play this weekend. Listen to comms, bro. Like I love Ben. Ben Ben Beans. He's got a lot of talent, but like someone's got to take the reins. When they are from a leadership angle, it's nice to yell dead when you get kills, but someone's got to direct traffic. It's not going to be one of the sub players. It's got to be one of the AR players to step up. I don't think Reese Vivid. Coming in fixes, but I think Bro, it's a key issue. None of play. these players on this roster right now is stepping into that role, and Reese Vivid is certainly not stepping into yeah. that role. Reese was. I know like you that. guys are going to think I'm trolling. Bro, don't even but fucking say it. Bring Doug oh Martin into this team no. for, for Nero. For, I don't. I don't care for who. Beans. Uh, Doug's oh, running an, an AR, AR now. Bro, give me a listen. Break. No, listen. Give me a fucking they, They're break, going dude. into a major five qualifier. They. They. They're good for champs. Doug's already on the team. Just sub them in. They See need a happens. winner. They need a winner. See what happens. What what could be worse? Bring in Sean. At least you know what you're gonna you're gonna get a lot of unselfish plays That's at a what dog. I'm saying. And you you're gonna I mean? get a guy who's constantly bringing the energy in the comms, leading leading the squad. Bro, just try it. See what the atmosphere is like. It may not be your final move, but but what's the what's the? Listen, I would, love, the I would tweet? love to see Doug in there, bro. That would be awesome. Chat, we see the tweet. We'll get there. Okay? What guys well, need? We'll get there. We'll get there. I'll bring it up whenever. Okay, bring it up. no problem. Yeah, man, Doug might be coming in. Who knows, bro? I I mean, hey, at least you know Doug's gonna bring the mentality, right, Pat? Yeah, and he's gonna get these guys hyped. I think. I mean, you look at this roster. I feel like that's what they need. They just need a guy who's gassing them I think up. They just need me. Control. I'm back. What? I'm kidding. <laughs> he's trying to get in there, bro. Chris is trying to get in there, bro. This <laughs> relax, guys. I'm but but no, I do. Now. I do think Boston needs to make a change. I don't think this roster should be their final form. Um, I don't. I, I think they have talented players up and down, even with Reese on their bench. So. Um, I think that she did make a swap. Yeah, Chris is DMing Boston actually right no, I'm now. To no, he really I'm is. Trying he's actually, to he's I'm trying to see this Pred fucking tweet or whatever happened. But I, but I, I definitely uh, got to give some credit uh, to Toronto Ultra. I think uh, you know they played really well today. I they've obviously struggled <laughs> online, but one thing Scrap said to me is that listen, this is land. This is a different ball game. We're gonna get back on our BS. Um, and today they looked really good. Uh, and against the Boston Breach team, that me personally, I think they're a good team. They yeah. just, you know, they struggle to close sometimes, and they struggle against the top teams as we saw today. So Boston Breach, they get eliminated from the tournament as well. Uh, what did they finish placing? Because Vegas and LAG got double first well, rounded, right? Boston, well, got, Boston, Boston got, last. got dead last. Yeah. So okay. It's their, it's their worst placing, right? Yeah. Yeah, but it's, yeah. It, it's a tough team to lose to for dead last. That's, yeah. Also, that's, I thought it was crazy. Um, we're six and a half months into Modern Warfare 2 season, and the London Royal Ravens are still averaging 13th in a 12-team league. It's really fucking tough. That's Damn. actually embarrassing. That's really Royal tough. Raven, dude, there was a tweet uh, that came on. Just I don't want to, you know, dig a dagger too deep into the team, but 
Um, There's like EU challengers that played. Uh, remember the Elevate squad that played at Raleigh? They won more series on land and won more maps than uh, Len Royal Ravens have won on land this entire season. They only went to one tournament. One tournament? Is it, it? To, it was a pro am. And it's the pro am, and, and they won more series. More maps. Well, one one series. <laughs> they won one series on and land. And they won more maps than Ravens have on land. It only takes Ravens, one series. London no, has no, never Ra won a series well, on land. No, no, but it, Ravens at least has had multiple series. They could win maps. They might not win the series, but they won maps. They've only won five maps in total this on, on land. That's not crazy. only series. Yeah, that's not five good, maps. Man. That is not good. The other ones won six. Listen, man, London Royal Ravens, uh, they continue to struggle. Um, but shout out to the Toronto Ultra. Obviously, they get the victory uh, over Boston. Congrats to Toronto. They move on to, tom uh, to tomorrow. We'll obviously take a look at some of the matches coming up. But we got one more series of the day. This was the last and final series. And honestly, this turned into one of the most boring series of all time into a really good series. I mean, this one went all the way down to a map five in Minnesota Rocker. We're able to make the reverse sweep. Pack and RDC. This was a blowout. It was 2 0. It was a blowout. We were like, yo, start the, start the intro. Start the intro. Just taking the fucking no bet, bro. stats for, the, for fame? It's, they probably going to fix it because yeah. of what? Look, it's look. Fun. I mean, we can bring it up. Pred obviously said this was embarrassing. He still put on for his city, though. Did me did me a great justice for my fantasy roster. Thank you, Fred. <laughs> I'm sorry you lost, but I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, the Rockers showed some life here. Some somehow um, ended up reverse sweeping. Ben did not take my five to one odds on the reverse. He didn't sweep. take it. Fucking you should have took it, Ben. You would have cashed out. You would have cashed out. I should have convinced you to be at forty to one when I quoted it. Well, I would just never would have done that. In I'll, any I'm world. A, I'm gonna keep it a buck. We thought this was gonna be over in three. They fucking choke. Obviously, the control. El Silo, bro. That map is just garbage. So, like you get like a four dead, and it's like chill. there were five offensive wins in that control. By oh, the way, and they were all like the stupidest oh, win. Like it's just like, oh, the, the defensive team's gonna. Never mind. Yeah, just four, four dead, stack. four stack, boom. Maps I mean, horrible. you could get smoked for a minute and fifteen seconds, and the last horrible. fifteen, you're good. But we're good. We gotta go. But we gotta go to the last two maps, bro. This is where Pat is gonna roast these people because he's always said, Prince basically needs some help. Lamar did not have a particularly good map four. He struggled. Whatever. They didn't win it. They Picked go to map. map five, they go to map five. They still got an opportunity here. Lamar's kicking up. Pred's doing his thing. Sib was doing all right. He tried, you know. But what the fuck was <laughs> Mac doing, bro? And listen, he had a rough map, and I get it. Mac does the dirty plays, but we gotta call it how we see it. See it. That one v one he had, where Pred kills the guy off the bomb, and he knows the other guy has to plant. If that other guy plays the kill and kills Mac, fair play. I'll be honest, bro. That was an amateur play. But once he knows he's on the bomb, I don't give a fuck. 100% of the time, you full sprint at that guy. Because not only does he have to drop the bomb and that animation takes forever, you have a Vaznev. By the time he hears you, by the time he drops the bomb, you're on top of this guy like a fucking lion is on top of a damn antelope or something. Yeah. Just tearing him apart. He's dead. Oh my God. And he sat there and he shat Jesus. his pants and he fucking costed. No ifs, ands, or buts about it, dude. I was mind blown. Listen, I don't disagree with anything Chris just said, but Mac if you are watching right now, which I don't know if you are, get ready to learn X Defiant, buddy, because that was an absolutely pitiful play. It, it was, but then, okay, I, we also got to mention the, like, three rounds after, Love Pride, he took some horrific challenges in those final couple of rounds. Yeah, I agree. AG did take some. He it. probably yeah. lost so yeah. much. He might have lost I, I, bro, I, don't, I bro, don't care. If I'm I don't red, I know care. I'm frying, and then I see no, my teammate. I don't, I don't teammate care. I don't care. Listen, I don't care, listen, bro. Listen, you got to regain that what round. Are you in that round. In no, that round, I Pred. You, okay, I agree, I agree with, you. with you. Listen, but I'm gonna okay, gas okay. it. I don't care. I'm gonna gas it. Okay, okay. Pred was in cat room. You. The guy's on bomb planning, and a guy snake in the oven. And Pred somehow runs in there, jumps at this weird angle, and kills the bomb. He denies the bomb plant before he dies. That's like an impossible kill. He gets the guy off the bomb, gives them a chance, and then like, you see that. Wait, Chris, did you say? <sighs> I mean, we've did you seen say some bone headed plays. Tearing bro. him apart. What? Never said that, bro. Yo, the bro. chat's quoting you, bro. Yo, hey. I'm no way he's talking. Well, speaking of quotes, so uh, there's Bruce, some. What did, what did there's he some, say? So there's some banter on the timeline. So Sandy deleted. Sandy posted a tweet. Rocker reverse sweep LMAO. Deleted it. And then Pred uh, responded, what's funny? And then AG basically like kind of, or sorry, rather, uh, Sandy kind of backpedaled and said, good try. 
bro, head up. So I don't know what Eli was thinking with that tweet. That was kind of. I don't give a fuck about the tweet. That would have been five two, Ben. I know. Listen, Unacceptable, this, 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 man. This is the issue for Seattle, bro. Like sometimes series are gonna go to five. It is what it is. Rocker really picked up in this. I know we haven't mentioned a lot, but it was a really good regain from Rocker. They played flawless in Matt Four. I thought they played that that uh, uh fortress uh hardpoint excellent. They've trolled a lot of hard points recently, but they played that well. But in the game five, the Seattle just gotta minimize the mistakes. And the issue now is similar to the Boston thing. It's like I like the Seattle team, but there's not really been. Bro, stop saying we bro, like I the finish? Seattle can I, team. Can I finish? Let I'm him finish, bro. I, I, think, I, think they, I think with Seattle, it's like, bro, like if you're gonna play this like weirdo system, like you gotta find a weekend where all four players are playing good, and they haven't had that happen yet. Listen, I'm gonna keep it a buck. No, no, no. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Listen, hear me out. Mac has been doing. You know, he's been all right this entire he's season. Been, he's been mid. Bro. Lamar, he's been mid. Lamar has stepped it up a lot. Which I like to this, see. This split. Pre, this split. Pred and Sib have, you know, done their Pred and Sib shit. They got a player on their bench right now that is a S and D star, a playmaker S and D star. Who? Who's on their bench? His name's Gwyn. He's a challenger player. His name's Gwyn World. He's he's got Who the hell is that? he's gotten really good placings and he's very underrated. He's been uh he hasn't Gwyn? been on like the superstar teams. He's That's been his on gamer low key teams. His name's Gwyn. He's disgusting at search. He's a submachine gun player. Super aggressive. Super talented, could definitely maybe pair up with Pred in that in that role and see some some success there. They are qualified for champs, right? They should be. They, they're gonna, they're they're gonna they, make they, they yeah. should make champs. They got an entire split. Maybe they got this like off season. Give the kid a trial, and bro, then see what happens. Bro, no, bro, it's 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 fucking Pred and Sib. Just get two better players. No, they're not, they're they don't not have time for that. Lamar, Lamar, bro. I. I I don't. I, I don't think at this point. Like I hate to say, it, I, just I would think, take Assault and uh, Joe Deceit. Bro, their team will play so much better if they can just find another really fast sub player to play with Pred. If they can have a sub player who can Get very vivid. occasionally change lanes and hit routes, but mostly be like a front run type of player, like they're going to be playing really good. Because whoever, whoever that is needs to be an unselfish if, player. If though. Lamar plays the Vivid? way that he played this split, like they they yeah. will they will make it deep. Bro, Vivid they, you just got to be careful with him. Whoever they you up, pair with AG, you got to be careful. If they, if, they, if they have somebody that's just going to run out there and make some actual plays in Search and Destroy and can help them there, that could help them. But also somebody that's just going to literally just get, like just run forward. Like just let Pred fucking bait you. Let, let Sib bait you. Just get the fuck in there. Maybe that will improve their consistency. Either way, give it a try. Because right now, what you're doing... Well, they're, I think they're probably going to stay together. It's, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, prob they're, they're, probably, they're but that's the issue. Team. They just, they're doing this oh, every time. Oh, now you hop on the roller coaster wave. Listen, bro, that's shut crazy. up. That's crazy. I don't want to hear it. I'm too I think tired of being I, early, Well, bro. here's the thing. I think Lamar's improved this stage, and I don't know if he's yeah, going to keep it up, up. But he's kicked it up. You know, maybe he stays consistent. I think Mac is still up on that up and down. Um, I just don't think this this placement is characteristic of what they were how, like how they have been performing online. So I don't know it's just weird. Um, like I said, hey, they got a break. Yeah, I mean, if we'll you're thinking about upgrading or making moves or trying something. Mm -hmm. I don't you understand how sub. this team hasn't made. You bro, have a you, substitute. Give him a trial. Bro, Pred is literally dropping. He had two hundred and twenty some kills today in two series. Yeah, a lot of kills. Yeah, but but he. Bro, well, but he's he's different. A, a, he's really saying. good. Didn't Pred's wait, different. So that guy Pred, help. Pred tweeted, "Maybe it's me or some shit." Is that what somebody said? No, nah, that's the LeBron reference. Oh, uh, okay. Never this mind. Is, I think this is a Photoshop tweet. But what oh. what did he what did he tweet? Did he I, he responded to saying what's so that funny. was all he tweeted. Yeah, that's okay, all he tweeted. Yeah, oh, I thought he released a tweet himself. Uh, like yeah. a, you know what I mean? Nah, Sandy uh. was the one that classic Sandy posted a tweet. In the hey, league, either so. way, just just uh just a thought, man. Listen, I'm just gonna put that out there. Maybe it happens. Maybe it doesn't. Give him a try. Well, good. let's hop into the matches tomorrow. Obviously, Seattle surge. They get eliminated in this one. We'll see what they can do moving forward. They're going to have to bounce back from the loss against the Minnesota Rocker. Uh, an upset uh, in the final match here today, folks. Rocker, they go through. But like we said in the beginning of the show, Ben Banks was motivated. He didn't want to lose with Patrick Price here. And he kicked Tom, off. Do you think they just start paying me? Remember when Alec had that? I've I've seen plenty of people who were like, "Yo, I heard what Pat said on the flame, and then they come out <laughs> and fry the next day." Hey, Pat, where's they that? Hear where's you. that energy before I say something? Tom? They Why they you, gotta man. wait until after it's something said? I don't know, Pat. I don't know. You're just man. supposed to be professionals. <laughs> 
Hey, let's go into the matches tomorrow, folks, and see what we got going on. It's been a long day, so let's get through these predictions. Man, we got some bangers. This is where the tournament begins, ladies and gentlemen. Well, Saturday is, uh, and Sunday. We're into the top seven, and we are we do have a seven-team league. Does that make sense? E a seven-team league? The well, seven you're saying the other man. ones aren't even in the <laughs> league? It's not, even, <laughs> it's not, not right, here. bro. It's not right. But let's take a look. As some of the matches tomorrow, we got Toronto Ultra kicking things off against the Florida Mutineers. I just don't think Florida's going to be able to keep up with Toronto, I'm going to be honest. I don't I don't know if they have the the power. I don't know if they have the slang power to to match their pace. Yeah. I'm curious to see uh, how they play against them. I think maybe they could squeak out a respawn. They can w maybe take it in the searches because they got some <laughs> good surge players. Um, it, it just really all, all – ultimately, it just depends how Florida come out tomorrow. They look pretty good today. But I think they're going to have a tougher matchup tomorrow against Toronto. I'm personally going to go 3 1, Toronto Ultra. But, uh, uh, Ben, we'll start with you and then we'll go down the line. Who do you got? Toronto I got, or I got, uh, I got Florida? Toronto because uh, there's a matchup where Flores is not going to be Toronto in the control. I don't really like Florida in the SMEs. Maybe they still a map one depending on the AB pick stuff, but I got Toronto 3 1. Chris, who do you got? Uh, my, you just can't, you just can't go against Toronto here. Listen, as much as uh, Florida had a good win, I mean, I'm, I can't be a believer yet. Um, I got Toronto. Slay. Um. <clears throat> so listen, tomorrow this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna <laughs> wake up. I'm gonna get some lunch. Okay. I'm gonna put on my Stallions merch that I got. Stallions uh, dot where? Dot club. That's what I'm talking club. about. Stallions dot club. Keep going. Yeah, right now, I'm gonna wear my Stallions merch tomorrow. I'm gonna like come it. in. And I'm going to enjoy a nice Toronto Ultra 3 0 Ooh. on their revenge. Okay, okay. Tour. DoorDash Challenge. Slate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, uh, we all got Toronto in that one. We'll see if Florida can pull off the upset. Then we move on to LA Thieves going up against Atlanta Phase. This is going to be an absolute matchup. Um, the, I don't even know where to even go. It, it threw me off. I, I actually, we we actually had Seattle beating FaZe in the winner's bracket and FaZe making a bit of a run in losers. But then FaZe came out and they took care of Seattle. And I know how well Seattle matches up against FaZe. I just thought that was an impressive win. I just feel like whenever FaZe get on land, they just they just kick up. You know, this is just what we're used to with these guys. They've done it so many times consistently. Everybody wants to say bias this, FaZe bias, blah, blah, blah. Bro, they do it consistently over and over and over again. I'm actually going to go with FaZe. I'm going to go with FaZe 3-2. I can see it being a gooler, maybe going last map. I can see it going either way, but I got FaZe in this one. Ben, who do you got? Uh, So, the way these series normally plays out with these teams is FaZe don't really win the hard points against Thieves, but they do win the S&Ds and the controls. A couple of them went to game five. And if Thieves lose any of the hard points, they get smoked. So, I would say if we go based on that form, how FaZe played the last three maps in that series, we know Austin loves to play against Thieves. I think FaZe will take it. I think it'll be a game five. I don't think it's going to be like the 3-0 we saw last time online with these teams, but it's going to be another heater. I will say this. Kenny and Envoy have really kicked up for 100 Thieves, I feel, or LA Thieves. I feel like they've, they're have they really starting to hit that form again. So it is good. I This one, I could definitely see LA Thieves coming out crazy tomorrow, especially with the way they've been playing. But, Chris, who do you got? I want to go with FaZe, but, I mean, I'm, I'm going with Thieves. I think Thieves have kicked up since they're uh – you know, since since they've been struggling and they they've been looking really good this major, and I think this is their this is their time to make a run. Also, in the best of fives, I think that's where uh, Faze are a little bit more vulnerable to what like this Thieves team can bring with those two hard points being much more impactful and them having to deal with less controls. Um, so I think I'm gonna actually say Thieves three one. They're gonna win the respawns and Faze is gonna take the search. Who do you got, Pat? Um, it's a hard one, right? Yeah, it's a tough it can one. Go either I'm way. gonna I'm gonna go with a thieves three two, um, and I think Tom, I'm gonna say this now, this is gonna start the thieves winner bracket run to win your major four. You think they're gonna win okay, it, right? Okay. You were t saying on a reverse sweep, you thought I like thieves was gonna go all yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah. I think they're gonna go all the way. I, th I also think they'll they're a better matchup for optic at the moment. Um, so I think I'm gonna go with thieves to win this, mm -hmm. and then um. I guess that segues in to uh, I think they'll play Optic in the winter final, and I think um, so. Optic will beat Subliners as well. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm really looking forward to that match. That match is going to be insane. And then, of course, we got Optic Texas going up against the New York Subliners. Listen, man, Optic coming into it 5-0. and Looked like the best team in the stage. I feel like a lot of people have them winning the tournament. We had them winning the tournament in the bracket. I just feel like this is Optic's event to, to win. Like, this is this is their event. They're, they're the team to beat right now. I feel like they got all the momentum, all the confidence. And something right now for these guys is just clicking for them. I still think New York has, like, inconsistency problems. Like, some days they come out and you're like, holy shit, these guys are the best. And then some days you're like, okay, what's going on here? They're just making some some dumbass plays. 
Uh, I think as long as New York can find that consistency, like I can definitely see New York really putting the pressure. Like New York could come out and win this series, especially if they're having a good day. We know how COD goes. I just feel like you, with the track record and how Optic has been playing the last few weeks and how they started the tournament, I have to go with Optic. I'm going to go 3-1 Optic Texas. Benjay, what do you got? Uh, I mean, I, listen, I like the way the New York's been playing recently. We've tipped it. I was a New York hater for a second. I just think that uh, this is a, one of those matchups for New York where, you know, their, their strength is in the respawn. Search is sometimes a little bit iffy. I think Optic's starting to get better at search. Control might be an opportunity for New York. I got New York taking map three, but losing two hard points in SME to Optic. All right, who do you got, Chris? Um, I'm going to say Optic just because they've looked like the better team, but I could still see a world where New York kick up. They've been looking a lot better um, at hard point, which was like they started to struggle in after they improved the rest in S&D. Mm -hmm. And map pool-wise, I think we're going to see – we're probably going to see a fortress here, which is, I think, kind of scary because I, I don't think – actually, does New York play Mercado? Mercado Hardpoint? Yeah. I don't uh, see them play it very often. They have played it before in this series, and Optic won it. Mm, yeah, so I think uh, they'll probably go on the reverse this time and try to play a fortress, which I think Optic still has the edge on, but I've seen New York used to be fortress demons, so I don't know. No, I got they're, Optic, they're, they're, I got they're Optic good at but fortress. This, this could be a weird series – if New York is playing really well, because, like, bro, people forget about New York because they haven't they're been. They're a good team. But they're a good team. They just been, haven't been they able are. to get that winner's that winners round one hump out of the way. Yeah, I agree. I think they're a really good team. And they are a really good Fortress team, too. They're a really good. Yeah, they, they, they have a good map set versus Optic. If they play really well, this could get, this could get you know, gritty. Yep. Slay, who do you got? Uh, I actually disagree with Chris. <laughs> uh, I don't think this is going to be a weird series. I think this is going to be a very clear-cut series. Um, I was looking at Caesar Skies when he was over there watching. He walked over, talked to us on the flank a little bit. Right. I looked into his eyes, and I could just tell. This is going to be an Optic Gaming master class. Mm. You're going to see. <laughs> you're going to see. You're going to see one. My bad, Caesar. You're going to see one of the best performances that we've seen yeah, so we far see. out of Brucey in this match. Um, I was telling you guys beforehand. I think Brucey is still uh, still diff for this team on land. You, we saw that day one. Uh, and so I think I think Dashie's just gonna absolutely have his way with this entire New York lineup. It's gonna be quick, done and dusted. And Dashie's moving right now. Yeah, he's definitely playing well. Well, guys, that's gonna do it for all the map predictions. Ben, you want to sink us out? You want to hit a pup for us or what, bro? Uh, yeah, you want someone to move the camera? Oh, yeah. No, no, the camera's got turned off. See so what? Oh, I got turned off. That's tough. Yeah. Hey, it is what it is, Ben J. Yeah. You know, you've been hitting putts all day for these guys. I hit you like know six I mean? in a row, didn't I? You did hit six in a row. That was yeah. typical from Ben J. And I also and I, see Nameless in the jet. And I had a putt off with Dylan earlier that I won. <laughs> yeah, yeah I well, I mean, Dylan doesn't golf. So. <laughs> Uh, but, yeah, guys, long day of COD. We've been live for almost 10 hours now, so just a really, really long day. Uh, we're going to have to head out of here. Um, people are saying Alec tweet. You want to check the Alec tweet real quick before before we dip uh, out? What's, Alec tweet? Oh, he, tweet what's, he, just took, he just took LAG out of his bio. Ah, uh, that's not a big deal. I, I would have been took that out of my bio, to be honest with you, the minute I <laughs> knew what was going a, down. Not, they don't even have, they're not even a real org. Yeah. I took that out of my bio four years ago. Yeah, I don't know. But, guys, listen, that's going to do it for us, man. Um, make sure to go to Stanley's.club, man, if you haven't got the merch yet before it's too late. Make sure to go check it out if you're interested. Interested, like, comment, and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Go to anchor.fm slash the flank to check out all the audio sites that we're on and make sure to go follow at the flank on Twitter. Gersh doing a phenomenal job Wait, running Tom. socials. Yes, sir. Club. Where can I buy this? Oh, the ghost energy. It's funny you say that, Slay. If you just go to ghostlifestyle.com, you can get anything you want and use code Zuma. You get a nice it's percentage on delicious. there. Oh, they got all kinds of flavors over yeah, there. People Pat. are saying that Alec retired, but I don't see any tweet about Alec retired. I don't retired. see anything about him retired. Alec retired. Alec, he deleted. Apparently, he deleted a tweet. He deleted it. What did he say? I don't see anything on Reddit. I don't see anything on... on Reddit? Online. Come on, cock a -pedic. Reddit, you guys are supposed to be like this. Where are the screenies? What's going on? Where's the screenshots? Chat, what did he say, chat? What did he say? What is going on? <clears throat> did he say he retired? Or, like, what What was the tweet like? He what, hasn't what? tweeted anything about retiring, so I don't know. Listen, let's ignore everything that the chat is saying. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just weird that so many of them are saying it. It makes me think that he actually said something, but... Um, I hope Alec doesn't retire, man. He's an incredible player. I know he's going through a lot of tough times right now, but... Man, sometimes as a competitor, man, you go through rough times. I mean, Pat, Chris, can you guys remember times as competitors where 
I have one where I didn't qualify for the league, right? <laughs> didn't qualify for the league. I just came off an MVP year. The first month of the game, we just weren't it. We didn't play well. <laughs> we didn't qualify. But, you know, I kept grinding and we bounced back. You know, sometimes shit happens. Uh, You're going to sure. go through the dumps. Wow, why are you giggling? Because <laughs> you're like, can you remember a time? I'm like, yeah, like every year after Advanced Warfare. Uh, right? Yeah, I mean, no, I mean, that's, <laughs> it's, every it's, year. it's definitely true, Tom. I mean, um, <laughs> you know, I think when I think back to Ghost, when Optic had to buy my entire team, mm. went through a little tough stint for like 24 hours, and then I showed up <laughs> to Columbus at uh, MLG Columbus and absolutely had my way in two best of fives with mm. no sleep and stitches in my hand. So it's always about the bounce back, right, Tom. Right, you right, go right, through right, moments right, and right, you just got to right, turn right, it around. So right, I think right. Alex just got to... Um, just gotta dig deep and, and and find that, and I think he'll uh, he'll bounce back. And he'll turn it around. Right, Slay. Well, Slay, thank you for sharing your uh, your story. I'm sure they all love that one. But listen, guys, we're gonna head out. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love you guys very much. Thank you to everybody who's been supporting all day long. We'll be back tomorrow for these Saturday matches. We got some good ass matches coming up, so I'm excited to dive into it. Huge shout out to the colleague as well for integrating us into the into the broadcast. It's been an absolute pleasure working with Esports Engine and the colleague uh, and all those guys over there, man. Hey, shout out my boy Johnny because uh, a lot of that was yep. his identity hit us up and we were interested in Bobby. Yeah. Shout out to John from Esports Engine. E Honestly, everybody from Esports yeah, Engine and colleague, they've been incredible to work with. So I hope you guys have been enjoying the broadcast. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for the watch party and another episode of the flank, man. Take care, brush your head, and we'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Stallions.club. Good night. Stallions.club.